Hello, and welcome to our very first episode of Loxone Explained in English. You might have seen this video format over on our German channel, and we're excited to finally bring it to a more broad and international audience. My name is Raphael, and I will be guiding you through some exciting features and configuration options that will make your life easier and your customers' lives better. This video series is meant for tech enthusiasts, Loxone partners, and anyone else interested in the topic. And on that note, let's get straight into the first episode. Summer is in full force at the moment. Temperatures are rising and the air is getting more dry. And these may not be the best conditions for the plants in your garden. That's why today we'll take a detailed look into how a fully automated irrigation system can be implemented using Loxone. A few weeks ago, with the release of Loxone Config version 12.1, we've added the new irrigation function block. This block enables you to incorporate weather data, such as precipitation and forecasts into your home automation system, and thus enables demand-based irrigation. The function block has eight outputs for controlling valves, as well as one output for the pump. But before we get any deeper into the topic, let's take a look at an example of how an irrigation system is usually designed. These systems usually consist of two main parts. The first part is the water supply. Water can be drawn directly from the pipe or, like in our example here, from a rainwater tank. And the second part is the distribution system, which usually consists of various valves and sprinklers. The valves are controlled by an RGBW 24 volt dimmer. This saves space in the electrical cabinet and is also a very cost effective solution. And now, let's take a closer look at how to set up automatic irrigation in Loxone Comfort. In this example, we're working with a total of six irrigation zones. Each of these zones is controlled by its own valve. As you can see here, we have zone one, which is the lilac area. Then we have zone two, the garage area. We have the hillside area in the center, the hillside area on the top, as well as the hillside area on the bottom. And last but not least, the terrace area. The valves are now controlled via the QV outputs of the function block. By double clicking on the block, you can rename the valves however you want to. This ensures a clean visualization in the Loxone app later on. The next step is setting the watering duration in seconds per valve. If a pump is available, for example to transport the water from a rainwater tank, it is connected to the QP output. The RA input on the block is used to integrate a rain sensor into the automatic irrigation system. The associated parameter max R indicates the maximum rain duration in the last 24 hours. By default, this parameter is set to 1800 seconds, so 30 minutes. This can of course be adjusted to suit your individual needs. I use the system variable rain for this purpose. You can decide individually in the properties whether the values should come from the weather station or the weather service. In order to now include the expected precipitation in the irrigation system, the block has the input RF and the associated parameter max P. The system variable expected precipitation indicates the sum of the expected precipitation in liters per square meter. The maximum permissible precipitation can be freely defined via the max P parameter. At its core, the irrigation system is activated by input A, for example, through the pulse at function block. However, irrigation is only started if it has not rained enough recently or the expected rainfall is going to be below the defined threshold value. By the way, we upgraded the pulse add function block in version 12.1 and it can now be used in the app. To make the automatic irrigation and its visualization as clean and clear as possible, I'm using the feature linked function blocks. Let's look at the result in the Loxone app. If the irrigation is now started, the pump is activated and the individual valves are opened one by one for the previously defined time. In the Loxone app, irrigation can be started manually at any time and the duration can be adjusted individually. Furthermore, you can view the data about any rain or precipitation. By linking the object, you can immediately customize the pulse add function, which, by the way, has been one of my absolute favorite features lately. This was a short overview of how to commission a fully automated irrigation system with Loxone. The irrigation function block, available in version 12.1, saves you the time it would take to configure a custom logic and ensures a clean and clear configuration. But of course, the configuration can still be extended with your own logic 
and adapt it to the individual needs of your customers. One example of this would be to monitor the fill level of the rainwater tank with the help of an ultrasonic sensor. I'm looking forward to bringing you more videos in the Explain series. And be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you're always up to date with the latest news from Loxone. That's all for now though. Thanks for watching.